Good morning and happy Tuesday. Today's Monday, so I'm trying to get back on track with going to get our groceries on Monday mornings. Um, it just works out that way. Mondays are probably our less busiest day, Mondays and Thursdays through the week. And um, it just works out where I can share a grocery haul and then also share a recipe that night and cook something yummy for dinner. So today I am going to get a weekly grocery haul. I do want to get started back on every two weeks. I just didn't feel like putting in a huge grocery haul last night. I just kind of did just for the week. So we're going to head and grab our groceries. Uh, I think I'm going to grab a little coffee while I'm out. I got some new creamer to try, so I'm excited to try that, but I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow to try that because I'm ready for coffee now. Um, we're going to grab coffee. I'm going to grab my groceries and um, show y'all our weekly grocery haul and then show y'all a recipe and uh, cook with me after that. And it's a crock pot recipe, which crock pot recipes are always the best. Easy. So this one should be pretty easy. There's a storm coming And I need a hand to hold With the fear of being here on my own With the winds blowing And the leaves they turn to gold Like they did with you those summers ago coffee here because Starbucks was closed and Duncan hadn't been sound the best to me lately Starbucks has sounded a lot better it's so crazy like they've been closed so much lately like I went a few days like they were closed for like a week it seemed like I went a few days ago they were open but now they're closed again so I don't know what's going on but um anyways but I did make my coffee I did a splash in my Starbucks caramel syrup like the tiniest bit and then I got this coffee creamer to try and I did the double espresso, Nespresso pod. Uh, I do like it. I don't know. I have to drink it to see if it's something that I'd really love. But anyways, I thought I'd try something different. So I'm going to flip this around and show y'all what I've got. I, need, I do need to fill out my little board as well. But anyway, show y'all what I got on my meal plan and everything I got for the week. All right, starting with produce. Got a couple of things of strawberries. Sometimes I'll eat a couple, a uh, couple of Eggo waffles in the morning. I love fresh strawberries on there. So I got some strawberries. I got some grapefruit. I love grapefruit, and I don't buy them very often, but um, grapefruit sounded good this week, so I grabbed that. And I got a pineapple as well. I also got some salad mix because I am going to make some salads for the week. A healthier lunch. For the week which i love salads ethan and i went on date night saturday night and i got a salad where we went and it was like the best salad so it just sounded good this week i uh, got some mozzarella cheese for it this grilled chicken is delicious on a salad i got some re uh, already boiled hard boiled eggs to go on my salad and that's kind of what i put or at least the stuff that i bought i have other stuff here to go on it um Uncrustables, I'm going to stick one of those in the deep freezer. My girls love these hazelnut Uncrustables. Um, I, these are like the perfect size for a little treat at night. They're not real big. They're like the perfect size. I haven't tried those, but I love these. So we like these as a little treat at night. And I also got those little scribblers for the girls. 
We got some yogurt and a couple of the easy yogurt patches for Millie. We got strawberry and then mixed berry. So in with this, I did go ahead and get, uh, we are in charge of snack for Ren's class next week. I don't know if this will make it to next week, so I might, I might just go get more stuff over the weekend if it doesn't, but I did not, they substituted these for regular goldfish, or I had, I had like regular goldfish, but they substituted these, so I don't even know how these are. I've never tried the Cheddar Jack ones, but I figured we'd try them, we'd keep them on trial. We got these probably to go with our dinner tonight, and I got some string cheese as well, cream of mushroom for our recipe today. Couple of things of mandarin oranges, salt and pepper that I think we're out of. I didn't check, but I went ahead and got more because I didn't feel like getting up and checking. Uh, blueberry pop tarts, Ethan wanted those for the week, and some a big thing of goldfish. Got one of those for Ren's class and one of those to keep here. Like I said, may make it to the weekend, may not. I um, also got this for Ren's class as well. Some Cheez-Its, we, we already have a bunch of those in the pantry. Uh, log cabin syrup, this is our favorite syrup and I bought the Great Value kind last time, which I bought a lot and Ethan said, start buying the log cabin. So I got a big thing of that because that's all they had. Applesauce, which is Millie's favorite. Uh, ground beef, we're going to do Sloppy Joe's one day this week. Um, I make my own like Sloppy Joe. You excited for Sloppy Joe's? <laughs> I make my own like Sloppy Joe's with like ketchup, mustard, brown sugar. Really easy. Really easy Sloppy Joe recipe. I got this keep steak we're going to put in the crock pot for today as soon as I'm done. Um, what are you doing? Let me show you my grocery haul. That's Yeah, that's for our Sloppy Joe's. Hamburger buns for Sloppy Joe's. This onion gravy mix. A few of these grape mixes. Hold on, I'm almost done. You can't eat that. We're gonna have that one day this week. All right, quickly. We got, I got dry shampoo, which I get on like every grocery order. That's corn for tonight. That's your favorite? Yeah, for later. We're gonna have that for supper tonight. Yes. <laughs> uh, these are for Ren's class as well for snack. Got some milk, got drinks for Ethan. I got the, like I shared, the sweet cream and natural bliss. It was really good. I just got done with my coffee and it had a really good taste to it. Heavy cream, got some cereal. I think that's it. So that's our grocery haul. Now let's put this up and I'm gonna show y'all the recipe we're gonna cook tonight. All right, I had to change shirts because Millie got my breakfast all over me. Um, so we're gonna make a really easy steak and gravy recipe. I wanted something, I had a, I hope they're still good. I need to make sure. I think they would be. Um, I have some mashed potatoes, mashed, mashed potatoes like already. Let me show y'all. I've had these since our last, oh no, they're out of date. They just went out of date though. So we're gonna make some either rice or homemade mashed potatoes. That's why, that's why I got this so I can use up these but they're out of date and I didn't realize that. So anyways, we're gonna make a really easy steak and gravy recipe, super easy. It takes a little bit of prep time, like if you're putting it on before you go to work or something. But um, it's a really easy recipe. So I am gonna start getting my cube steak ready and we're gonna throw everything in the crock pot. All right, we're gonna start, sorry about the lighting. It's at this time in the morning, the sun comes in crazy in here. I'm gonna add like a couple of tablespoons into my pan. And then I'm gonna grab a bowl and add some flour and salt and pepper to it. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of flour. And then I'm gonna season it really well with some salt and some pepper. All right, stir that around with my fork and get that all combined. And then I got the family pack of this cube steak. We probably could have done the smaller size. Just wasn't sure. Um, when you do Walmart grocery pickup, you just don't know what, how big of a size they're gonna give you, so that's why I got this size. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in my flour and kind of lightly bread it and then fry it up to just get it brown on both sides before we put it in the crock pot. All right, just lightly, lightly bread it. I'm gonna fry a few pieces at a time and get my crock pot ready. 
It's been a while. Oh, my mom made cheesecake and gravy. You hear my kids, they're playing. My mom made cheesecake and gravy growing up, when I was growing up, all the time. And it was one of my favorite meals. I think, if I'm not mistaken, we used to have it served over rice, and it was a favorite of mine. And I don't make it a ton for my family, but it's something that I enjoy. So, it's been a while since I made it, so it sounded good for supper this week. So we're gonna let that fry up, and then I've gotta get every, the rest of this fried up as well. All right, my last batch is frying up. I have two cups of water. I'm gonna mix a few things together. Two cups of water. We're gonna do a can of cream of mushroom soup. And then we've got a pack of this McCormick onion gravy mix. Your baby goes night-night? Night-night, baby. All right, now I've got my whisk, and I'm going to whisk this up together. And this is going to be like our gravy part of it. I think all of this is good to go. All right, so we've got our steak in there. And then on top, we're going to pour this mixture all over it. And then hopefully by supper tonight, it should be just falling apart and yummy. That's it, I'm gonna cook it on low for like six to eight hours. So it's like 10, 15 right now. So by supper time, it should be good to go. And I will show y'all what we're gonna have with it. <laughs> and the finished product a little bit later, super simple recipe, but um, a really good recipe too. mashed potatoes it was so good um so i definitely recommend that it was delicious we do have some for ethan for work tomorrow i think we had even more like leftover steaks so next time i'm definitely getting the smaller pack of the steak but i hope y'all enjoyed this grocery haul this video grocery haul and cook with me recipe video if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you soon for another video bye